everybody welcome back to my channel inside the hem today is my november plans video hard to believe i'm saying that but yes it is the penultimate month of the year november um and the exciting part about november for me is that here in the states we have thanksgiving at the end of november and most companies and people have that day off and then the next day which falls on a friday um so that would mean a five day sewing extravaganza but i usually end up taking the whole week off um so it's a good time for me to take a sewcation so i'm really excited about that i know i'll get a lot done which is why my plans video this month is super extra special <laughs> i always over plan always without a doubt but this month I might have over over planned but it's still a lot of really good ideas for you guys and will maybe help you navigate some of your plans um, so I wanted to start off with one pattern one week I think in my last video I was calling it one week one pattern so sorry that I got that backwards or is it one week one pattern oh I don't know I get it confused one of the two either way it's the last week of November, November 25th through December 1st, something like that. Does that make sense? Um, and it's where you wear the same pattern every day for the whole week. Um, either style, either the same garment styled differently or different garments all throughout the week. So I have been using, oh Lord, do I even have it here? Yes. I have been using M7660 as my one pattern, one week, one week, one pattern, whatever it is. Um, and I have gotten through three of them. Anyways, so in order to wear that pattern every day for a week, obviously you need seven of them. So that's my plan. My plan is to sew up four more of those garments before November 25th. Um, I have a dress planned. I have a little zip up jacket planned. I'm trying to get really creative and hack the pattern now that I've got the basics done. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and excited to share with you all of my makes. And then I might have an itty bitty giveaway. Um, McCall's is helping me with this and, um, they want to give one of you one of the patterns or a copy of this pattern. So, um, stay tuned for that. That'll come at the end of the month. I'll do like a whole video just on that. And, um, I'll give you all the details on how to enter the giveaway. But yeah, that means four garments just for this in the next, well, 20-ish days. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the next thing is, and the next two things are really kind of my solution for Sew My Style. I talked about this a lot last month and many, many, many of you commented um, and made me feel a lot better about deviating from Sew My Style. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to have 12 garments at the end of the year, but they're not going to be exactly what um, was outlined in the plan. Just because those, um, are they called Hampton trousers? No, that's the jean jacket. Whatever those pants were, wasn't going to work for me. And I've seen other people skipping that one too. So I know I'm not alone in <laughs> thinking those are like, that's a weird pattern with weird sizing. Um, and then the Yona coat just is too, way too hot for our climate here. I mean, we're still in the, in the seventies. So, um, so to sub out those two, I am going to be making a trench coat out of a, some Robert Kaufman twill. And this was all inspired by Allie J. Um, or Allie Jackson, um, she made the Lucerne Trench from Deer and Doe, which is adorable. I truly do love that pattern, and she vouched for it a lot, saying how well-drafted it was. Um, but I already have um, McCall's, oh, not McCall's, Vogue, uh, Vogue 8884. I already own that pattern. I've already planned on making that. I want to say I got that last year or maybe two years ago with the hopes of making a trench coat but never did i even have fabric for it that i got from style maker but just wasn't feeling it for one reason or another so i'm thinking the twill might help me feel a little bit more inspired it's more 
traditional, more classic. Um, so an Allie's is like a baby pink. It's adorable, but that's not that practical for me. I want to make like the traditional beige trench, but I want to turn it up. You know how I like to do like little details. So maybe like some burgundy piping. I think that would be really cute and fun, but still totally wearable like all the time. It would still match everything. So I'm leaning toward that to replace the Yoda coat. And then the, for the pants, I actually, after all that talk about pants last month, the irony is not lost on me. I actually won a contest where I won a ginger jeans pattern, a hardware kit to make ginger jeans, and like a bunch of Cone Mills denim all to make ginger jeans. So it feels like the universe is telling me now is your time to figure this out. And they have the ginger jeans party hashtag um, on Instagram. And it was really um, inspiring to see people um, making the ginger jeans, them not fitting out of the gate, having similar issues that I have had, and then figuring them out that made me feel really good like i'm not alone in the pants fitting world and that it can be done because a lot of them ended up figuring out and they have great looking jeans so i think i'm going to sub out the ginger jeans for the those trousers that were on so my style um again i have the fabric the pattern the hardware it's just a matter of getting making the I know I need adjustments because I've tried to make ginger jeans before and they didn't work so I think I'm out of the gate gonna do a um full seat adjustment a front thigh adjustment and a large calf adjustment I think those three things should get me going on the right track um and we'll see where I land but I've got to get some like cheap denim from Joanne or something to make some muslins so so yeah, that'll be like, you know how you're saying, oh, I'm making one pair of jeans, but you really end up making like five because you make so many muslins. So it's going to be a little bit like that, but I think that I'm ready. I think that mentally I'm there, emotionally I'm there. I'll have the time that Thanksgiving Socation week will be a great time because you could, you know, chip off a little bit at a time. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. I would just love to have a pair of jeans or a jeans pattern that I know I could make over and over um, and never have to worry about it. And for those of you that are going to suggest taking a, a pair of jeans that I already own that fit really well and using that, the problem is I've never, ever, ever in my life probably owned a pair of jeans that fit really well. I, it, from the store that I've made, none. There's always been something wrong. Um, I've gotten, I've had some that have gotten close, but none that have ever totally fit the bill. So, um, and now especially like, I don't think I own any jeans that fit really well. I don't own any jeans that look good. I don't own any jeans that look good and are comfortable. Like they don't exist in my closet right now. So it would be nice. It would be really, really nice. Okay. So on to the, what are we on the fourth one? Yeah. So how many of you saw what Brittany Jones did with the bodysuits. I mean, if that's not the most inspiring little project, I don't know what is. I was thrilled when I saw that she was doing, um, basically, if you didn't see, she's doing a bodysuit a week, a bodysuit a day. She took Simplicity um, 8513, which has like five, or six different variations on a bodysuit and she made one of each of them and every day she posted a video of that of one of the versions so it's like a whole week of bodysuits and they all are adorable they're all super cute they're also wearable i can imagine incorporating them into my wardrobe like a thousand different ways um so i might be on the bodysuit train i might I might need one or more of those. Um, so I'm waiting on a Simplicity sale because I'm not going to pay full price. Fun fact, did you know that Simplicity had printable patterns on their website? I didn't know. They are still like the $11 price range, which is cheaper than some indie patterns. But for all that trouble of printing and everything else, I don't know. I'd just much rather go wait for a sale and get them for like two bucks, you know. 
Um, I feel like Joanne has those sales like every five seconds anyways. So I don't, clearly have got a lot of other sewing I can distract myself with. Um, in the meantime, until they, until that sale pops up. But yeah, I just was like, I saw that and I was like, yes. I was like, that is such a great idea and I want all of them too. Um, so um, go check out her series that she did. It's really, really cute. I'll link it right here. Um, what else? Oh, my famous Sew My Style. Sew My Style. Okay. So we talked earlier about the coat and the jeans, right? And I bet you're wondering how my briar tee and my valley blouse have been, have turned out. Yeah, because I was totally going to make those last month and the month before. They didn't get made. They didn't. And honestly, I think it's just because I got my head stuck on needing sweaters, needing like warmer clothes that a short sleeve top and a really flowy lightweight top were not going to get worn. And so I was like, well, why should I wear them or why should I make them? Um, and it just got kept getting pushed further and further down on the to do list. So they still aren't done, but they're on my plans, on my list for this month again. And I guess so long as I just keep putting them on the to-do list, eventually they will get done. If anything, you guys will just get sick and tired of me talking about it. <laughs> so I'm going to try really hard, really, really hard to get them done this month. Um, let's see, Briar Tea, Bally Blouse, talked about the pants, talked about the coat. So November's is the by hand London... By Hand London Anna dress, which is actually stunning. Like, I really do love that dress. Someone, now I can't remember her name or her blog, mm -mm, um, made the maxi version out of what I think is like a crepe or a chalet or something. And I mean, y'all, it is gorgeous. The slit, mid thigh. And I guess, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that dress or any maxi dress with a slit no matter what the fabric print is if you make it in a flowy fabric it would be great for like a more casual holiday party i mean i can imagine like a dark background fabric with like flowers or i don't know something some print on it full length with that huge slit that would be gorgeous for a holiday party for like your office or if like your neighborhood has one or the school or I don't know whatever you know it you have going on in your life I just think that it would be great and it's a it's a not so obvious take you don't have to wear glitter and sparkles and you know you don't have to wear like a gathered skirt or a pleated skirt or anything like that I think that this is like an understated really pretty maxi dress that would be great for the holidays so that's what I think I'm going to make the maxi version with the huge slit I'm really honestly excited about it I've already reached out to style maker fabrics and asked her about um some fabric that she has I have something in my stash but I might not have enough yardage I mean a maxi dress takes a lot so we will see how that ends up shaping up I don't have the pattern or the fabric yet so we'll see um but the year is coming to an end and I've got to get I've got to get wrapped up on these um on these projects um so yeah the Anna dress is next on the list and then finally the work in progress project that I have set for myself I did such a good job in um October you guys I mean I killed it I killed it I'm so proud of myself and I got it out of the way early too so I could um like have fun making new things and not just doing like hems and all that all month long um so I can't wait to show you in my in my makes video um killed it with the works in progress so excited so I pulled out another bin of works in progress um I have I guess I had one one of these I emptied out in October this is my November one I have another one plus like two or three smaller ones <laughs> I have a lot I have a lot anyways so but we're getting there we're getting through them and this one I feel like is all I don't know what's in here um this looks like a skirt without a waistband so 
just attached the waistband. Look how cute the skirt is. I mean, adorable with that little center flap. Perfect for fall. Um, suede came from Stylemaker Fabrics last year. So cute. Um, this one, so cute. Just needs a, like, something happened here. Can y'all see that? It's, like, all ripped up. But it also needs a clasp. And that won't happen anymore. I don't know what I was thinking with this whole mess. Anyways, I got to fix that. Super cute. Don't remember where the fabric came from. Maybe Girl Charlie. Um, this one is a ready-to-wear dress, but doesn't fit me well anymore. So I want to make it a top. So that will be easy. Again, ready-to-wear. That's too big. Got to take it in. Um, this one, you remember this, I just posted this not too long ago, earlier this year. This is the Charleston fabric from um, Art Gallery, and I have put in two safety pins. You can see those there, because the front is too big. So I just need to go in and like, take up the front some, and I'm hoping I can just do that within the gathers that's already there. So we'll see. I gotta figure something out for that. But anyways, it's just a bunch of little itty bitty stuff that I um haven't gotten to. What is this? This is like a completely sewn. Oh, it's a dress with half a lining that I probably need to just hand stitch. But how cute is that? I don't know why I do this to myself. Anyway, so those are the projects that this is the bin that I'll be working from. Um, this month we'll see how many of them i can get done um some of them as you can see are like really quick projects and some of them probably be more involved but that's the work in progress portion of my sewing plans for november and that is it those are all my plans for this month so i want to know what is like the biggest most exciting project that you are planning to make in november are you making something for Thanksgiving? Are you making something special for the holidays? Are you making a bunch of gifts? Um, let me know what the big thing is that you're making this month. And if you're participating in one week, one pattern, let me know what pattern you're using. If you're participating in Sew My Style, let me know what fabric and version of the Anna dress you're gonna be making. Um, and if you've ever made it into your jeans, I just want you to leave a comment with thumbs up to, to encourage me that I, I can get through this and that I will be fine and I'll have some great fitting jeans. So thanks so much for watching. As always, love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!